Okay, let's create a detention pond within Rhodes. And here's a cross section of our pond. Pond bottom is at elevation 606, top of berm at 617, 8 foot wide berm, and inside slope is 3 to 1, outside slope is 4 to 1. Uh, here's a graphic of our pond bottom, just drew a square, represents the inside bottom of our pond. And so the first thing to do is come over here, go to surface, design surface, generate longitudinal feature, and I'm going to create a new surface called detention pond. Uh, let's use an interval of one. Um, deselect the generate graphics only checkbox. That will allow us to create our feature. I'll name it Pond Bottom. And I'll use a style of Road Ditch Bottom. Let's select Break Line. And let's go over to our Controls tab. And our horizontal method will remain 0, 0 for now. Our vertical method, let's set this to Elevation, Elevation and our start elevation 606 stop elevation 606 and let's click apply and following the prompts in the bottom left identify primary element let's click on our pond bottom left click to accept identify reference element pond bottom left click to accept and it says identify beginning or reset for entire we just want the entire perimeter of the pond bottom so I'm just going to right click. Now it says identify location. I'll just click anywhere outside of the pond graphic and our feature has been created and here's our, here's our uh, detention pond surface. We can check that out. Yeah, 651 break line points. Uh, elevation 606. Good. Okay, let's create our berm. Let's go to surface. Design surface generate longitudinal feature, go back to the main tab and we'll use our detention pond surface, interval 1 uh, let's call this pond berm I'll uh, use a style of yeah, let's use break line uh, break line, I'll go ahead and select remove loops and triangulate surface, let's go to our controls tab and now our horizontal method will be offset from primary feature and I'm going to put in 33 for the start and stop and our vertical method elevation elevation 617 for the top of berm and from the bottom to the top is 11 feet at 3 to 1 slope that's where we get our 33 feet at so I'll click apply identify primary element pond bottom click to accept identify reference element pond bottom, click to accept, reset for entire perimeter, I keep zooming, and identify location, again I'll just click anywhere on the outside, and there's our inside top of berm. Now let's create our outside top of berm, and I'll just keep this dialog open, we'll just keep all these settings the same, the only thing different here is I'll just type in 8 feet for our start and stop horizontal offset, that's the width of our berm, 617 is the same elevation and I'll click apply identify primary element our top of berm, accept reference element, top of berm, accept reset for entire perimeter, location, I'll click outside and there we go, there's our berm okay let's uh, let's tie this berm into our existing surface. So let's go to surface, design surface, generate sloped surface, and our source surface will be our detention pond, and our intercept surface will be our existing surface, and our destination surface will be uh, let's yeah, let's just go ahead and name it detention pond. Um, yeah, let's use an interval of 
who and our slopes are at 4 to 1 so I'm going to put 25 percent for these uh, I'll keep these disabled um, let's go ahead and enable the triangulate surface I'll enable this transverse box and I'm going to name this uh, let's name it side slope I'm use a style of road yeah, let's use ditch back back slope and I'll enable catch point and I'm going to name this fill line and let's use a style of P road yeah, let's use our road fill line and once we have those set I'll click apply and identify element click my pawn top accept and identify beginning or reset for entire I'll just reset for entire Oops, there we go identify location again I'll just click anywhere outside here and there's our sloped surface so now let's go ahead and uh, merge our two surfaces so I'll come up to surface and I'll go to edit surface and I'll go to merge surfaces and for my original surface I'll use existing and our design I'm going to use detention pond and our destination uh, we'll call it detention pond finished I guess that's as good as any and I'll go ahead and click apply close and let me close out of that and let me set our new surface active and let me get rid of a few items here I'm going to delete those let me delete that and let's go to surface view surface contours uh, detention pond finished and I'll load my finished surface preferences load close interval one that's good I'll click apply let me close that and you see there's our new merged surface um, our existing surface is still turned on but if you come down here at around the toe of the slope and whatnot you can see where it begins to merge and so let me go to surface update surface let me select the existing surface I'll turn off the contours close and there's our pond merged with our existing surface